Good morning sports fans. This is a lovely little image of Glastonbury Tor. Halfway up, you've got the main building on top, the path, and if I just pan around, you have the town of Glastonbury over a yonder. And if I go over here, you can see some really lovely views of, I think it's the levels of Somerset. So I'm near, nearly at the top now, panting for breath. But there we have the building at the top and I'll show you a full uh, view around the area when I'm at the top of the tour. So I'm coming down the back route now. Just been up the tour, which is uh, up there. And I came up the, like the not so steep way, the more shallow route where all the tourists go up, or most of them. And I came down the, the back way, the back passage. <laughs> um, basically, yeah, nice little walk, good way to get started in the morning. And I don't live in Glastonbury, obviously. I have just come here for the day. And uh, later on today, I'll be doing my interview with uh, Matreya Miranda. So that'll be good. I think she operates out of the Chalice Well Gardens. I'm not sure. I think she does. But anyway, later on, I'll be meeting her at the Abbey. And uh, all being well, I can uh, link that in the description once I sort out the full uh, video, which will be a, a, an hour long interview. You know you get people saying, we don't have anything good in the UK. We still have a decent amount of countryside. People who don't see it, they spend too much time in the city. Too much time around the grey, and the pollution, and the <laughs> Starbucks, I don't know. Uh, yeah, just coming to the countryside, enjoying yourself, getting some fresh air. Doesn't help my hay fever mind, but breathe from my mouth, I'm fine. So, yeah. Uh, this is a public footpath, in fact. In fact, I'll go down here. And this cuts across the field and comes up uh, to the back of Glastonbury. So I'm cutting out the Chalice Well Gardens, which are over there. I um, don't know if I want to do that actually. Might go, down, might go around the gardens. I mean, it only costs a bit, doesn't it? So, in fact, I'll do that. I won't cut across here. I'll go back on myself and I'll show you what the Chalicewell Gardens are like. So, yep, just going around the side of the, uh, the tour area. 
and we'll reach the Chalice Wells in about five minutes or so.
So I've just showed you the wells and now I'm going to go and have a look around the town before I go and interview Matreya Miranda. Well, my name is Matreya Miranda mm -hmm. and I am the Feminine Christ. Mm -hmm. It's a term I use to explain my identity and my role and purpose here in this incarnation. Mm. Well, excellent. <laughs> so, when you say you're the feminine Christ, what do you mean by that? Well, I mean that uh, I have had an incarnation previously, mm. uh, someone very well known, mm -hmm. right? Jesus. Right. And people have been expecting the return of Jesus, mm. but Jesus is not returning the way he used to look with the beard and sandals. He's returning as a woman, okay. and that soul is not just Jesus, but it's actually the merging of Jesus with Mary Magdalene. Right. Because we're talking now about energy, we're mm. talking about consciousness, and the consciousness that was in Jesus' soul mm -hmm. at the time of that incarnation, when I departed, and that consciousness was leaving the body, right? It yeah. entered Mary Magdalene. And so she became the first woman with this consciousness and we could mm. call it the feminine Christ. There are no more barriers to cross. All I have in common with the uncontrollable and the insane, the vicious and the evil, all the mayhem I have caused and my utter indifference toward it, I have now surpassed. 